Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love reading for July 5th to the 11th. As always, this is a, as a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate, leave what don't. There is an extended link to the description for anybody who does resonate and wants to see more. Um, I'm going to begin your reading with an oracle card from Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. So we'll see what message we've got here for you regarding your love life. For July 5th to the 11th, Scorpio. We've got you. You've got two. You've got two, guys. We've got here... What, the Well Watcher, Wisdom, Power of the Divine. It's number seven. I feel like you're um, you're being guided and protected at the moment. I feel like this is talking more about abundance and um, opportunities that you've got. Certain opportunities, and I feel like they're protected. They're being protected for you or preserved. There's something here about, like, I'm getting certain opportunities, abundant opportunities for you are being protected and preserved for you. And then we've got the eyes of beauty. Positive expectations, clarity. And again, this is number 25, which adds up to a seven. With this card, I feel like it's talking um, literally about, yeah, it's like hope, seeing the good in everything, seeing potential, definitely seeing potential in things. I've had this for you as well, like a while ago, about not, not missing um, either a person, not passing upon a person or an opportunity, because um, you don't, you're not seeing something in it. Somebody, I feel like somebody is watching you as well. Again, I do feel like there's a lot of like spirit guides and protection going on here, but there could be somebody that's watching you. There could be somebody who could be watching you, who has noticed you, who has become aware of you. They might even recognize your soul, like there could be some sort of soul recognition here. And I don't feel like they've made it known yet. I don't feel like this person's made it known. But you've got some two sevens. You've got some big numbers going on there. Definitely about like eyes, about being noticed. The well watcher and the eyes of beauty. There's something abundant for you as well. There is something abundant that's available for you or, or is being preserved um, for when you're ready for it. So Scorpio, let's see what is going on with your love life and your romantic connections for July 5th to the 11th. Recent past energy surrounding your love life, present energy surrounding your love life, near future energy surrounding your love life, the energy that is guiding you right now and something you need to know, your energy and your person's energy. You might actually also have somebody slightly older than you who is interested in you or attracted to you or may, again, it, it could be in a romantic sense or it could be in a sense that of an opportunity, they might bring an opportunity to you. We've got the Six of Swords, so there is a change of focus here, um, change in direction, could also be some sort of travel, moving forwards, but maybe shifting focus slightly, and that could also be why maybe something is being preserved for you, you know, being protected and kept for you, because then you might even kind of experience a slight, even like a little bit of a detour or something. Let's see here. Recent past energy surrounding your love life. We have here the King of Rods. So there could have been a fire sign that has been very attracted to you. This could have also been a masculine energy that you've been very attracted to. You may have admired this person or been very attracted to this person or this type of energy that somebody embodies. Um, this could have also been you taking action um, in your life and really kind of bossing up in your life 
Um, and somebody may have found that very attractive. Present energy, we've got the Queen of Swords. So this, this makes sense with having that Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you're becoming very clear of something, you're understanding something, you're getting very clear about maybe who you are, or what you're about, what you want. You're getting very clear about something. You could have also been learning something and, and have reached this point of, okay, I know what I'm doing now. I've learned what I needed to learn and now I'm ready to start processing this and, and then I'm gonna put it into action. So if you guys have been learning something or if you embarked on something new and was learning something for yourself or even in regards to like um, people, you know, you could have been connecting with people but maybe understanding things differently about people, about relationships, learning about, learning new things about relationships or, or starting to see relationships in a different way. You've reached a point now where you've learned what you needed to learn and now you are ready to apply it. I'm not applying it just yet, but you're ready to apply it. So you've changed, sh shifting your focus. You've seen things in a different way. You've got a lot of clarity here. Could also be connected with an air sign. Maybe an air sign, maybe this is somebody else. Maybe there's an air sign presently who, see thing, who sees things in a different way if this isn't you. They might see relationships in a different way. Or you might see relationships in a different way. But I feel like here you're very clear with yourself. Very clear about who you are, what you want. Very clear about what you're gonna experience next. And, and it is, I definitely feel like it's about applying what you've learned. You may have also, in the past, you may have also been connected with partners who are very, maybe dominant or maybe um, might have been a bit controlling or um, you may have dated people due to sexual attraction and presently there could be somebody available for you or you may be looking for something more a different type of connection something that is like mentally stimulating something where there's a lot more clear communication where you can understand each other and communicate with each other um, and it's not just based upon physical attraction or sexual attraction or you know you you might want a partner who's a bit more understanding than maybe somebody who tries to take the lead you might want somebody who's a bit more considerate. Near future energy, there's a 10 of wands. So you're gonna go and release, you're releasing certain burdens, certain energies, certain judgments. You're gonna free yourself up here. Could even be releasing people. But again, I feel like that could be a preparation because I do feel like you're very clear. So you, the next stage with this is starting to apply what you've learned starting to live you're going to start living and and basically operating with this new level of awareness understanding um clarity this new mindset this new focus and and likewise if you have shifted your focus and your mindset and starting to understand things in a different way you might be then attracting somebody different who can fit with that who will fit with that but here it just looks like you're going to go and you're going to be going and letting go of things that aren't in alignment anymore with where you're heading so you're going to free up some space ready to welcome in some new space these sort of energies people judgments beliefs attractions things that you're holding on to could be pertaining to somebody from the past or a certain type of person certain type of person a certain type of relationship that you've experienced in the past there might even be some sort of karmic sort of things coming up some sort of connections reconnections with people or some sort of closure that's coming up but whatever you were focused upon 
I feel like you're going to free up some space before you start heading into like applying what you've learned in regards to if you're seeing relate if you're feeling attracted to a different type of relationship now or you're seeing relationships in a new way and you want to have a new type of experience because your mindset has changed this what's coming next to you it is literally about freeing up attachments or energetic connections with people with energies with dynamics with things karma with people all that letting go of that to create this space and then I do feel like you're going to be, you're going to become this king of swords and apply yourself with what you've learned. You're going to conduct yourself with what you've learned. You're going to lead yourself and take action upon everything that you've learned and everything that this, this clarity, this new mindset, you're going to apply it. And you're going to be able to communicate that with others. And then others are going to be able to receive that. And the ones that receive that are going to be a match for you and you're going to be connected in to your match with who matches the mindset that you've got here, the understanding that you've got. The energy that's guiding you is the emperor. Yeah, you're being guided to your match. You're being guided to your divine counterpart. And I do feel like you've really outgrown this type of... Um, this type of... Uh, relationship personal attraction they might have been like a good a good um person or relationship or something but there's something i feel you want more you need more now your mindset shifted your qualities that you're looking for have developed more you're needing more that's not fulfilling enough so you're looking for the this your divine counterpart here you're looking for the person who who is or you're or you're being guided to your match here someone who can fit your new ideal your new idea your new desire you might actually go through some sort of experience regarding your father or maybe like a father figure father of children or someone's father there could be certain things like that that you might release certain things with there could be some sort of deeper healing or some sort of healing that goes on or something like that it's really interesting as well because what's coming into my mind is three stages of scorpio okay and you might want to have a read about this and i, I want to see if i can think of of it and i feel like the first stage is i don't know i can't remember what the stages are but i think the first stage is the eagle and then it's the scorpion and then it's the phoenix i swear that's like i swear that's like um the three stages of scorpio i'm not too sure have a read because i i was i remember like studying this like probably about two years ago and i can't really remember everything now but maybe check that out i don't know why that's coming up but this is like making me think of this and it's this evolution of you something you need to know okay so You've got people, <laughs> you've got people, offers, and they don't all necessarily have to be romantic, but there's a lot of things that are coming in for you, a lot of people, a lot of offers, okay, that could be um, things that you find attractive due to this old, um, that, that, are, that are like in the same sort of bracket as what, you would have been attracted to before and then there could be some other options which you would be attracted to with this mindset that you have now okay and with this you're gonna filter through you're gonna start filtering through and there's gonna be some opportunities some people and it's gonna get clear of what you really are drawn to now what you're gonna choose what you're gonna enjoy and this is what's going to be letting go. It's going to go, you're going to go through an even deeper filtration process of letting go of judgments, belief systems, ideas, uh, passions, or, or what you were passionate about, or attachments, all these sorts of things. Anything that isn't fully in alignment with you. And you're going to be connecting with what is in alignment with you. Whether that, whether that is a match for your idea or not because there still might be 
you might have an idea, but there still might be certain things that you're attracted to, which pertain more to like your old mindset and, and what would have attracted you before. But you met it's that's not a bad thing. You might just need to delve more in and and learn something more within that or gain something from that. There's going to be a lot of um, a lot of experiences. Of, and and people and offers being made available to you but i do feel i don't feel like you need to worry or stress i feel like you need to enjoy this and again that i do feel like a little detour okay and this is to help with this clarity and with choices and with what you enjoy <laughs> and with what makes you really happy and is connected with you and what and what you're not and you're going to kind of go through a bit of a filtration process and you're going to do it with other people and with opportunities and things, but also at the same time, this is going to be a physical experience that you have to get clear with yourself again, to really kind of get, filter out as much, as much, as much as possible. And what is destined for you? What is being, what is like this thing that is really special for you? This abundance, yeah, this opportunity, whatever it is that is, kind of destined or being being preserved for you being protected for you it's like it's being protected and that's you that's yours and it's got your name on it and it could be a person it doesn't even need to be an opportunity but it could be a person it's like that is the best possible thing or person for you okay and you're going on this journey now of filtering, 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 filtering energies to be in the best possible position within yourself to get the most out of this. So this perfect person or opportunity for you is not going to be delivered to you until you are at this position where you can get the absolute most out of it. And that's not in a negative way. That's not like withholding from you. It's actually to benefit you. And there's no time here, like it's not a rush. It's, it's like helping you so you can get the absolute most out of this person or this opportunity. But you have some fun guys because this is gonna be a lot of fun. But you're gonna get clear and there's gonna be some things that you think you're over. And there's going to be some things that you think you've changed your mindset over, but you might still be drawn to them. You might still be attracted to them. And you might need to play certain things out, either with people or with situations, okay, to really understand something from it. Because you may have actually created a judgment about something. And there could be like some sort of rejection of something, but there is a quality there that you, that you can like take on board um, that you can actually utilize with what is for you so even by rejecting it now that would be like a hindrance okay that would be a hindrance to reject that quality so it's like this big hole i don't even know if i'm making sense here you have to let me know if i'm making sense but it's like this whole big preparation that's going on basically but have fun have fun with this it is a bit of a detour there is going to be a lot of opportunities things that you're going to like things you're going to be drawn to you might not have thought, you might think I'm over that now, but you might still be drawn to it. You might want to kind of go back in and be like, okay, well, let's have another go with this. Let's see what this is. And you might have some fun and you might receive some gifts from that. Or you might be like, okay, no, I really am over that now. And then you might, that might just completely sever something where you're not attracted to that anymore. Okay. You're not drawn into that anymore. And then you can finally fully energetically release there's going to be a lot of different experiences. Your energy is strength, self-mastery, courage, um, mastering yourself, mastering impulse, mastering animalistic attraction, a lot of sexual attraction. And that doesn't just even mean to need, need to be in regards to a partner and sexual attraction to a partner, but that set is definitely vibes here about your sacral chakra, what you're drawn to, what you're attracted to what really kind of uh, excites you, yeah? Whether it's personal opportunities. The person's energy is the fool. So they're having a new beginning. They're going on a journey. And I feel like this is a person who is being preserved, being kind of protected and kept for you. 
I'm going to go and look more into this in the extended, so feel free to join me if this reading resonates, if you want to see more. If not, thanks for watching, guys, and all the best. Enjoy. Enjoy all of this, like, exciting, fun exploration and this energy that you, you've got coming in, because this is really good. It's really, really good. It's fun times. Um, and I feel like, yeah, you're going to do that, and then you're going to know who exactly who you are, and... If you are fully aligned with this Queen of Swords, that's who you are. If it slightly changes a little bit, and if you're a bit of a Queen of Swords and a bit of a Queen of Wands, then that's who you are. And you're going to be able to then apply that. And you'll be in the true alignment. You'll be in your living truth here. You'll be in your living truth and you will accept you. And not saying that you don't accept you now, but you might even understand you a lot more, but then you will apply that and then you and your match will be like, whoa. And it will be amazing because any judgments will be gone, most definitely. And there will be this huge stability within yourself. Um, so yeah, feel free to join me. If not, thanks for watching guys and all the best.